We got something special this morning. We're, we're picking up a, a special package, okay? We'll, <laughs> we'll say it like that. Do you guys recognize that lawn at all? <laughs> I recognize that lawn. If you uh, happen to be on TikTok, look our good buddy here up, Zach's Lawn Care, and uh, you'll, you'll know that lawn. I've seen him on the channel before, too. He's got a safety orange on. That's good. You ready to work? Yeah. <laughs> I've been wanting to do this for a while. Good. What's up, man? What's up? Not much. Came out here to work with us for the day. You excited? Yeah. <laughs> well, I'm hoping we can find a ton of lawns to get on because yesterday we did a lot of driving around. Things are kind of uh, drying up a bit. Got it? Yeah. But I know we'll at least get on probably six. So now the other three or four might be iffy. But anyways. Say what's up to everybody. Tell them where they can so, find you at. You can find me on TikTok at Zach's Log here on TikTok. And yeah, haven't seen y'all in a while. <laughs> <laughs> so if you guys remember, we used to mow this one right here. And uh, Ramir came down one day and we let him run the multi-forces around. It was the multi-force, wasn't it? Yeah. Yeah. And he, he made some videos. Those videos did really well. I made a video that day that did really well too. Yeah, so. all of ours did over 100,000 views. Right, I had people message me. They're like, "Man, you made a video with him, like, thinking you did something." He's got more followers than you on TikTok. I'm like, "Okay, I got more followers than him on YouTube." So <laughs> shut your mouth. <laughs> people always want to compare everyone. All right, so we're 0 for three, guys. Unfortunately, it dried up a lot since last week. We've had zero rain, and they're not saying any more until what next Thursday. I saw a chance. Mid to end next week, yeah. So, yeah, when we're pulling up, Ramir is laughing. <laughs> That's uh, I guess not a good thing. Do you prefer me to call you Ramir, or do you prefer me to call you Zach? Um, you can call me Zach. I okay. Because that's what everybody calls me. See, I've always called you Ramir. I've everybody always called him Ramir. You Spencer, right? Because of Spencer Longhair, but that's the last name, and your first name is really Sean. Just in case some of you new people don't know. I don't get offended. Did you get offended? <laughs> <laughs> All right, so we're gonna continue moving on through this route, but yeah, we're striking out left and right, and uh, yeah, honestly, I think it's a little bit worse than it was even yesterday. Yeah. So we'll be back in one second. Hopefully, we find some lawns today. All right, guys. So we just pulled up to the next two which we always show this one, but we have this one as well. And it doesn't look good, I'll be honest with you. I just want to double check this lawn's backyard. The front absolutely doesn't need mowed. Man. It's like completely changed out here in a week. Give you an example, it's super early and I'm walking through the grass and my boots have barely any moisture on them. Yeah. So, there's still the stripe from last week. I'm going to double check the neighbors here. I have to do a take two with Zach. <laughs> I feel bad, man. Like, I knew we were drying up, but I didn't anticipate it being this bad. Like our, our lawns down south, where we were at, they were starting to get it. But up here, it's far worse. I mean, even the spots that are really shaded, like up front here, very little growth at all. Like not enough to justify a, you know, I won't go into exact numbers, but we'll say $75 cut. You know, don't get me wrong. I like to mow, mow both of them real quick, but I'm also not going to take advantage of our customers. Well, <laughs> yeah. that's a strikeout on a four and five. 
We're going to keep moving on. We're going to get you on a lawn today, Zach. Well, I told him, I said, if anything, we can just go back to his place and mow his yard. There we go. I mean, we get one in. Right. I mean, ours needs mowed, too. Oh, yeah. So, we probably can do that, too. You know I want to go and see the chickens. I haven't. That's why I wanted to drive over to <laughs> he the house. The I wanted to see the chickens. I've never, like, seen the chickens in person. I want to have chickens at my house. The chickens, Whenever I get a house. The chickens are free ranging right now. We are letting them out of their cage. Mm. And they are, the orchard right next to our house has dropped almost all of their apples and they're just loving that. Oh yeah, they get, they get the buffet. The bugs, the apples, and then we see deer like crazy. Oh yeah, we've been having some deer around our neighborhood too. There's mom deer and the baby deer. Yeah. Oh, all right. These guys are talking about chickens and deers, and I'm sitting here <laughs> thinking, like, we've been driving around for an hour now and haven't gotten on the lawn. So, all right, we'll be back. We're going to find a lawn. I might as well just vlog the whole day. <laughs> He's talking about vlogging while we're vlogging. <laughs> we found one we can mow, even though Zach isn't going to get to mow it because I can't allow him to get on this one right now. This will probably be the last mow we do here. So, have you ever taken a trimmer off of one of these um, it's already unlocked thing, all you do is like that yep that. there you go <laughs> just like that all right oh um, you mind recording me while you're recording that sure <laughs> <laughs> You push it in to, and turn it up. Oh. There you go. And then give it some. proper training and time I wouldn't have a problem Zach mowing this hill I think he could get comfortable pretty quick but right now I just wasn't <laughs> it's crazy. Right. That hill is not small by any means. So what happens is it comes down so sharp and then right here it kind of drops off into like a V, like a valley. So that point right there is real, real tight. So we get it though. We get it. I like to walk up here and check this one out as well because this is a, one of our big leaf cleanups. As you guys can see, these really haven't started changing just yet. But with any property, we blow it all off, clean it off. Just uh, makes everything look cleaner, makes the customer more happy. 
Let's take a walk up here real quick, see what the backyard looks like. The backyard typically drops a lot quicker, just uh, different trees. We've got a little bit of changing of the leaves here. Yeah, starting to get a little bit. Starting to get a little bit out of this one. So you probably didn't notice what she did there, but she cut the leaves off. So naturally they want to come down this steep driveway. So she just blew that portion right into the woods here and then cut it off so that she could push the rest back into the back lawn. Just keeps it off the driveway, off the porch. And when we come in to do a big leaf cleanup, we'll take care of them. As I've stated with, to you guys before, this customer still likes to mow her own grass. Uh, she just can't do the hill. It's too steep for it. It scares her. And uh, that's why we take care of it. So, good job, guys. Good job. I told you we'd get you on one today. <laughs> Actually, I said like five or six, I think, for sure. But we knew it was going to be kind of hit or miss. He actually wanted to come out yesterday, and I was like, man, it's, it's getting pretty dry down here. But I thought we would be really okay being up here in the fert lawns uh, because last week everything was okay. But obviously it's not okay. A lot of uh, a lot of browning. Some are okay that have irrigation, but most of them, yeah, not so much. So uh, Zach told us this is his first time in a truck trailer setup. So what do you think of the truck trailer setup? I think the F-350 pulls it pretty nice. It's yeah. actually a pretty good ride. I thought it was going to be like a lot more bumpy or whatever, but what I'll have to do is uh, show you the difference between the Dodge Dump truck and this oh, truck. I was literally gonna say that. <laughs> this is like, this is like driving in a, a high-end Cadillac or something. Uh, compared to the dump truck is just, a, I mean, dude, it's it is what it is. You know, it's a it's a dump truck. It's a rough riding uh, work truck. Work right? truck, yeah. So th this is a lot more comfortable. Uh, but you'll see most companies, uh, when you get out into the lawn care landscaping industry, aren't using trucks like this for their daily drivers. Uh, a lot of the companies will actually remove radios, air conditioners. <laughs> I've heard it all. Now, I'm not saying that's good or bad. I understand people don't want their employees sitting in the trucks when they should be working. But I also see the side of, you know, it's 100 degrees. It's nice to get a little break, especially a lunch break. Whether that's under a tree or in an air-conditioned vehicle, uh, you guys tell us what you think. Uh, you ripping the radios and air conditioners out of your trucks? Because I do know companies that do that. It's standard practice. As soon as they buy them, it comes out of the truck. I mean, I'm not kidding you. Back in the day, they wouldn't even let you have power windows. So if you got all that at your company, you probably got a pretty decent business owner. Going to be another skip. I, yeah, I think so. <laughs> so you can see it's wet here along the roadway, wet over here along the roadway. That lawn's a lot more green. It's getting watered. You can see the puddle right there in front of the truck. Same okay. thing here. Like you, you'd you probably okay. miss it if you weren't looking, but see that lawn's green. This one's green. But a key sign for that is the water in the little ditch area or the runoff here. Hence why it's so green. All right, guys. Just left that big one. Once again, zero growth. So I got some landscaping projects. I got one more to check here for lawn care. I'm gonna check that one. I might drop TQ off because I gotta grab a hedge trimmer. So let's take care of these first thing next week, but we're gonna bump that up a notch. All right guys, Zach and I are heading back out. We drove around for two and a half hours, went through a ton of different lawns. Everything is just, I mean, burned up you know so there's nothing we can do so we're gonna transition to some different work because Zach has got to get his hands dirty today so we're gonna we're gonna move on to some other stuff and then uh we're gonna get down and we're gonna see about maybe doing some work at our property a uh, bit this afternoon once we uh get this job done so we got a little bit of a drive here not typically how I would do this job just because I would normally put it into the route 
but we did not plan for an entire day of drought droughted up lawns i guess you could say you having fun zach oh yeah definitely this <laughs> spencer's lawn care is definitely the best lawn care company <laughs> it's I, definitely fun i appreciate the kind of words we just you gotta gave... actually be with them in person it's a very good vibe i appreciate that man i appreciate that he just uh he just got the experience a chicken so we got him a chicken you're gonna have to check his TikTok out to see the video with the chicken now so Zach's yeah, Lawn Care. Oh, yeah, yeah, there you Zach's go. Zach's Lawn Care. Instagram. Uh, we'll be back. We're going to get some work done. All right. So this customer calls every year. And uh, these grasses just get so big, it's blocking the walkway. So you can't even walk up his walkway anymore. So we're going to cut these down to the ground. And then way out back there, we got some big ones as well. But, uh, yeah, we're just going to get to it here i'll kind of show you there's a bunch of different ways you can do this you can use a bungee cord we're going to use tape because it's what i had i've used string uh ratchet strap you can use all kinds of stuff uh simply you just want to minimize the amount of mess you're going to make whenever you're going to actually cut them down puts it all in one little package and i always like to take a peek just to make sure there ain't no big old hives in here right sometimes we do poison ivy in there too oh yeah Poison ivy, I'm not so much worried about. A lot of people... I actually get it. Do you get it? <laughs> yeah. Because okay. it was poison ivy in one of these that I cut down before. Okay. So these are super dry right now. So what we're going to do is just pull them in here. Get real low. Leave, leave yourself a little bit of room at the bottom. Here, you hold that in, and I'm going to come all the way around. All right. We'll work together, Zach. Pull it as tight as you can. You might even want to come up a little bit, like come up higher on the plant. Keep that to yourself right on around. There you go. Make sure you keep pulling it tight. You want this thing to be like a package deal. See how we did that there? We kind of got a, a bundle. <laughs> okay. Now we're just going to come in and we're going to cut it off. And we'll just take that right to the truck. We have very little bit, very little mess. And uh, you can come in and make really quick money doing these things, especially if you got a ton of them. Like right here, we're going to be here maybe 20 minutes. We're going to be walking away with like 150 bucks. You know what I'm saying? So let's, uh, let's get to it. Yep. How long do you want me to go? We're, we're gonna take it off probably about four inches, okay? Right here? Yep. Truck real quick. Just like that. Spencer's gonna take it to the truck. As you can see. Look how quick and easy that was. Just like that. And if anybody's worried, we'll take the duct tape off. 
we got to stay green. <laughs> Some of you might be wondering why we're taking these down. The customer does a huge fall uh, redecoration as soon as we're done. And these are in his way of his fall decorations. So he has us take them down every year and uh, then he's able to put his decorations up where he wants them. So all of this, will, I think he brings in almost like a 300 pound pumpkin that he buys at the fair and sets it right in this spot. He sent me photos before. If I get time, I'll put one up here what he does, but this will all be decorated for fall. What do you think, Zach? Super quick and easy. Yeah, that's where the money is. <laughs> For sure. What do you think, Zach? Maybe 10 minutes? Yeah, for sure. Not that long. The duct tape makes it go so much faster. The duct tape is where it's at. Bungee cord, ratchet strap, anything that you can just package it up a little bit smoother. Yeah, now we're gonna go try to get some mowing in. Quick tip, don't take your hedge trimmer after it's been nice and hot, run it for 10 minutes and uh, throw it into the bed with this stuff, especially this time of year. Early morning, you'd probably be okay. Right now, this stuff is super dry. It will go up very quickly if it happens to touch your exhaust and uh, we don't need those kind of problems, right? guys here we go so what he's gonna do is set his first stripe here and then he's gonna work off of that so you can look at a house figure out what's gonna look best for the house and then go from there that's a good line good straight line to start with your first line is your most important.
So what he's doing there is a car is coming up the road. Never assume somebody sees you. Closing the chute blocker. Very good. Little mistake there. I would have used the chute blocker to not spray the mulch bed. I understand you're nervous you know it happens See, he learned that time. I didn't even have to tell him. of it mowed I'm gonna leave him to mow the other half here I'm gonna go start out back I think he's got it under control I let Zach go ahead and trim the way that he was most comfortable with and then towards the end here I uh, know the audio didn't turn out real well because we were so far away but I just explained to him like hey there's some windows here on the house this is what I would suggest doing you know you can just sit back here in the lawn look around there's windows there's a front, big glass front screen door let's turn the trimming around the other way so we lessen our chances of throwing any debris towards the house or the windows uh, so I was explaining to him start on the right side here and come to the left with the trimming and then do his flip edging back the other way. So yeah, just some quick tips here to help him get better. And you know, right here he's doing perfectly fine walking forward edging and uh, yeah, did a great job.
All right, guys, I'm gonna get my trimmer. Just wanted to give Zach a few tips real fast. Super driven, you know, these young guys and gals out here right now, we're, Savannah and I at Spencer Lawn Care are super proud because, you know, the community hasn't always had a really positive light on it. And with these new generations of kids coming up, it lets us know that what we've done and what we continue to do had an impact on a, a young generation that still want to do lawn care and landscaping and snow removal and all of that and can enjoy it. There's a, a lot of jobs people can do that they don't enjoy what they're doing. And I'll tell you what, yeah, you have your days out here in the field where you're burned out, you know, you're stressed out, but uh, you have way more better days outside in the lawn, in the sun, where we naturally should be than being cooped up in a building or anything any day. Now, don't get me wrong, when it's pouring down rain and super cold, I'd much rather be in the building. But, you know, super proud of Zach and, uh, you know, even wanting to take a leap of faith and reaching out and saying, hey, can I come out and work with you, you know, and doing little things. And I'm giving him just little tips and ideas that he can take back and be better. And, uh, you know, we don't ever ask anybody for anything. And uh, we won't ever ask anybody for anything. But what I hope he does someday is he repays this favor to somebody else. And uh, maybe bring somebody out with him and teaches somebody uh, around him something. And uh, yeah, just pays it forward in that aspect. Like a lot of my friends, Nate, uh, Kevin, Mike, Dan, Noah, all of these guys, you know, they're pay it forward type of people. You know, that's why they're close to us and why we consider them friends. Uh, and I've known Zach now for years. I mean, years and years when he was just a little guy. Now he's taller than me, like by a foot. And uh, it's just cool. It's cool to see the impact. I mean, it really is. Super proud of him. Alright guys, got all the trimming done. Zach got his blower and his phone out here. We gotta do some recording, huh? Huh? Wanna do some recording? Yeah, just a little bit. Alright. One second here. Zach's gonna blow the remainder off here real quick. He forgot his tripod this morning. So uh, I've been doing some filming for him, which I don't mind. I like filming. It's probably one of my favorite things to do outside of lawn care. Hence why I've been doing this channel so long. And I like it, and I like you guys. But uh, yeah, he laid it down, looks real good, looks real good. It's nice too, having somebody with you you don't really got to instruct a whole lot. Like there's little things that we do just slightly different, which you'll have with everyone. But, uh, you know, it's all about getting better. It's not about knocking anybody. Funny story, I didn't even realize I trimmed that entire property without my headset on. <laughs> I don't know if that's a good thing or bad thing because I really couldn't tell. <laughs> Wish I had better sunlight for you guys right now to really make this thing pop on camera. Smart move there, Zach. Idle down. Good, man. What that's do you good. think? You have fun finally? Yeah, those stripes are nice. They look real good. <laughs> <laughs> yes, sir. See, that's the fun part, guys. When you get done, you get to look back at what you just did and, like, man, it's that like looks... It's art. Yeah, it, that's because exactly what it is. Y'all went side to side last time and now up and down. Yep. Super, super good. You have the 800, correct? Yeah. 
It's the one you guys got me. Oh yeah, when we did the uh, backpack blower giveaways. Yeah. If you guys don't know, last year, TQ and myself went to Schleybaz, and then Schleybaz actually didn't have enough of them, so they sent us to their sister company, and uh, we went there and bought a pallet of steel BR 800s and gave them away to landscapers and a few friends and got some people taken care of. And Zach got one, huh? Yep. I love it. He loves it. It's a really good backpack blower for blowing leaves. Echo 8010, 9010, good blowers as well. Just uh, I guess what you can get dealer wise and what you prefer. So we're going to move on.